What's up, guys? Tell it, Tim here. Brand new, very sexy, brand new, brand new, revamped, lumpy ice cream. And by brand new, revamped, I mean I got a haircut. But no one can see Whoa, that. Oh, holy shit. Here's a picture. There's probably not gonna be a picture oh, there. Probably not gonna There's be one on Facebook. There. There's one on Facebook and, like, I, I don't know. You'll see, you'll see it in the fucking... Flash an arrow recap. Either that, or I'll put... Uh, oh, that's right, yeah, I had it in that. Yeah, okay, never mind. Yep. Or I'll just put a gun to your head and force you to put it in there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't account for that. So, uh, yeah, Tim's getting a glass of Mountain Dew, if he sounds very far away. I've got my typical bottle of cola here with me. Uh, we're probably going to be looking at a few things, depending how time goes. Mm -hmm. But uh, on the agenda today, uh, we're going to be looking at the DC Collectibles and the One Marvel Legends out of uh, Toy Fair 2016. Put, it, put the laptop on your lap. Okay. Just so it's not on the table and the microphone doesn't get... Whatever. Get whatever. AIDS. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... Maybe later we'll we'll discuss our feelings on the final. Thank God, should have been the only mm. Dawn of Justice trailer. Yep. And um, maybe a little bit of conversation about Deadpool. Yep. Maybe. Yep. If we have time. Yeah. If we have time. But uh, let's get into this uh, DC collectibles. First one in the folder is the Amanda Connor designer series. Yep. We'll go through the figures in the line, and then uh, we'll discuss them. Uh, so you got the classic Harley Quinn. The Holiday Harley Quinn. The Space Suit Harley Quinn. I think that's, uh... It has a specific name. Can't remember. Retro Rocket Harley Quinn. Right. And, uh, Superhero Harley Quinn. Alright, so we'll go to the, the classic Harley Quinn. Uh, what do you think of this... This figure? There'll, probably, I, there'll be pictures up. I like the, the look of it. Though. Looks pretty mm. cool. Yep. I would buy it. I don't know if I would. Uh... At the point that this will come out, I'll probably have a few retro Harleys mm -hmm. from the animated series alone. Yep. Because um, her design didn't change much between the Batman animated series and New Batman Adventures. Mm -hmm. I think maybe just the animation style, which is the same for Two Face. Yep. His design stayed the same, but the way they drew him, it got like more slender. And right. um, I'm pretty sure that's the only difference between Harley and maybe the face paint. Okay. It was different. But, um, yeah, this line doesn't grab me. I'm just going to say that. I'll probably that. just buy, like, eventually get around to buying all four of these figures just because mm -hmm. Harley Quinn. So. Yeah, just just because of that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a straight up say this line is probably a pass. There's nothing wrong with the figures. They just don't grab my interest. Mm -hmm. uh, so here we have Holiday Harley Quinn. I think this looks pretty rad. Yeah. I mean, I've, I think they're doing this... For obvious money gain reasons, because mm. you know Harley Quinn, yeah, she, by making dollar signs, um, yeah, she's especially that she's in Suicide Squad now. I reckon they're gonna yeah. try and get a, their money full of of her, which um, is kind of a good thing. Yeah, true. It, oh, it's not a bad thing. Definitely yeah, not. It's but, not a bad thing at all. Yeah, I mean, from from like, if if you're like a whiny little shit who pretty much complains about everything me needing to make money then mm. yeah it's probably a bad thing for you but you're an idiot so although i do think this line is catering more towards harley quinn fans yeah. than it is collectors yeah and there are, there are, some would say for a line called dc collectibles is a little yeah there there, there, are, there are plenty of harley quinn fans anyway so oh yeah like, yeah so they're gonna make their profit probably tenfold off these figures, then that, which means that means they can spend more money on making other figures, and possibly which, other more, more Harley Quinn yeah. figures. Yeah. Uh, okay, so spacesuit Harley Quinn or retro rocket uh, looks decent. It's pretty cool. At man. least they're giving them facial expressions. Yeah. And not just. I, I think, I think my one little problem with it is the fact that her ponytails are out of the fucking helmet. That's just weird to me. Are these designs from the comics? I'm not sure. Or are these just made up? I don't know. Mm. I, all I know is that the Super Harley Quinn one is definitely from the comics. So maybe the other ones are too? Yeah. I don't know, but yeah. I mean, it's Harley. That's probably a design, a design. It, it is that a New 52 design? Because it looks very New 52. It probably is. 
Because she's got the half head, the yeah. half red, half black hair. Yeah. So. But uh, stop focusing on making these Harley Quinns that only Harley Quinn fans are going to buy and focus on, you know, injustice figures, you twats. I know they made the little ones, but three and three quarter inch ain't my thing. Um, make seven inch ones or I'm going to hunt each and every one of you down. Not you, the viewers. I mean, D DC Collectibles people. DC Collectibles aren't listening to this, so that statement sounded really dumb. If, do they have Twitter? Because I'm going to send this to them. You do that. We're talking about their product, so they'll probably watch. <laughs> or not. Uh, and then here we have Superhero Harley Quinn. I love it. Mm. It's pretty cool. It's like the one time I can actually stand a Power Girl costume. Because <laughs> usually I get really annoyed that Power Girl just has that massive oval out of her chest. Mm -hmm. But like, reading the Power Girl and Huntress comics, it kind of fits her personality, but yeah. I, like, whatever. Um... But either way, this is a cool costume. I'm going to buy, buy this. Alrighty then. Plus, I'm going to read the comics. Yeah. Because, you know, two characters that I never expected to team up, Power Girl and, How and Harley Quinn, and yeah. then it happened. Ever so. since I put them together in my display, I really want to see a team up between Machine Man and Deathlock. I was like, that would be cool. Mm. I don't know why. Make him the new Power Man and Iron Fist. Alright, moving on to the Arkham Knight, which... It's slowly winding down. There's not many more figures they can make from Arkham Knight. I'm trying mm. to think of any, and yeah, none are really coming to my mind. So there's the Oracle and Batgirl 2-pack, which I'm very glad that they paired them mm -hmm. together, because I personally probably wouldn't have splashed the cash to buy a Oracle by herself. Mm. I mean, it's just... Even though I am a big supporter of DC Collectibles and I understand the price they charge for them, yeah, because uh, you get what you pay for, I am still very hesitant when it comes to buying civilian figures. It's why I haven't got the Jim Gordon, the Greg Capullo Jim Gordon. I mm. like that figure, but I am still very hesitant on pulling the trigger on getting civilian figures. Yep. So I probably wouldn't have got <clears throat> Oracle. Even though... Uh, oh, no, there is. Yeah, there's the DLC that has Batgirl in it. Mm -hmm. But on the standard game, you just see her suit, and it's a Easter egg in the game. Yep. Uh, I guess we'll just turn the brightness down a bit. Does it affect it? No. So, um, you don't own any Arkham figures. No, I do not. Would this be on your? This would probably be like top of the list if list? it were closed. Mm -hmm. if, if it were like the one of the first figures I've seen, I yeah. If I went out looking for Arkham Knight figures and I saw this two-pack, I would probably get it. Mm. Now, I wonder what the articulation in the Oracle is going to be. Because, um... She's in a wheelchair. Yeah. But, like, famously, the Professor X Marvel Legends figure still has the full articulation you would get. Isn't that because they reused a body or something? No, that was a brand new body. And, if I'm mm. correct, was never used again. So, um... Right. That's yeah. surprising. But then uh, the articulation in the upper torso, I'm also wondering, is that going to be standard, or is she going to be more of a statue, or or something like that? But, uh, yeah. That's going to be interesting to see, because, like, you'd think that she'd just be, like, have her arms by her side if she had that ability. Mm -hmm. They don't tend to go crazy with the poses here, like Batgirl's just standing there. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that worries me a bit if you can't bring those arms down. But yeah, um, I'm definitely going to check that set out. You want you want to get your get your charger for your laptop, and I'll just pause the recording. Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll wait till it gets to eleven. Okay. I always do. Plus, that I've dimmed the brightness. That should give us a few extra minutes. Uh, okay, so moving on to the animated series, the Batman animated series, which is so good. Mm -hmm. I love that. Everyone who watches the show, please go and support this fucking line. Please do. Because um, they're just putting so much love into it. And it really upsets me when I see people getting all bitchy about it. But anyway. I, would, I wouldn't see a reason. Why would you get, why would you get bitchy oh, about Oh, people it? are getting really bitchy about the animated Batman. It's like, oh, his ears are too short and his eyes are too narrow. And Ugh. Yeah, I guess it's a complaint when they're trumpeting... The fact that these figures are so episode accurate, but whatever. Fucking deal with it. Uh, so the first one we have... <sighs> Batman Beyond 3-pack. Mm. My prayers have been answered. 
I've been wanting a Batman Beyond figure since this line was announced. Mm. And it's only a matter of time before they branch off into Justice League, hopefully. I mean, if they do do that, it's going to open a big can of worms because there's a lot of characters in there. There's a lot of characters. And uh, it did take us a while to get a lot of the figures we wanted. Some would say we haven't got the figures we've wanted yet in this series, but... um. You know, when you're opening a, a team up, you know, ha- where, how are they going to release the Justice League? Mm. Like, is it going to be all at once and then whatever from there? Or are they going to, like, space it out a bit? What's going to happen there? Mm. But yeah, I want it. And the Batman. I want figures from the Batman, God damn it. Yeah. That would be awesome. Fully articulated six inch ones. Anyway, so um, here's the Batman Beyond free pack. Even though I don't like referring to animals as part of a pack. I see them more as accessories, but whatever. Uh, so we got Batman Beyond, who comes with his fucking wings. Yeah. So yes. Uh, we got Old Man Bruce and Ace the Bat Hound. Woo! Are, are you going to pick this set up? I'm going to pick this set up. Yeah. It's, it's probably it's a it, buy Even for if me. it's like the only, the only animated set I buy, mm. I'm going to buy it. Okay. It's good. Very good. Okay. And then here is the uh, animated Batwing. Mm-hmm. Yes! I am a massive fan of not only the animated series, but a massive fan of the Batwing. Um, even though I hate the fucking movie, I loved when the Bat showed up in Dark Knight Rises. Mm-hmm. Um, I just love the fucking Batwing. I don't know why. I just Is it because it's a plane? Yeah, probably. That's shaped like a bat? Yeah. It's a plane. So, yeah. Excuse me. Um, yeah, this is a definite fucking get for me. I presume not so much for you. Not so much. It just, like, I don't mean to sound awful here, but it just seems like a massive hunk of plastic that does nothing. That is fair enough. Uh, uh, Well, I was watching an episode last night, and there's a part where a claw comes out of, like, the headpiece. Mm-hmm. So, I wonder if they're going to include that. Like, like don't get me wrong, it looks awesome. Yeah. It's probably going to have sound and lights just like the Batmobile. Yeah, like, if, if, if I were if I were inclined to buy vehicles, mm. I would probably buy this. Yeah. But, like, I'm not inclined to buy vehicles. So. Like, I still do not fucking know where the fuck I'm putting this. Mm-hmm. I'll put it in front of the Millennium Falcon and they'll be flying at each other. No. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. But I'm still getting it fucking regardless. I don't give a shit. Mm. Uh, okay, so here is Joker from the episode Christmas with the Joker. I ain't, I ain't gonna get this one. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be straight up. I ain't gonna get it. I've got the regular Joker and that's more than enough for me. I don't, I don't need Christmas sweater Joker. Everyone needs Christmas sweaters though. <laughs> I'm, bu- I'm buying those when winter hits. Fuck, I'm sweaters. fucking buying Christmas sweaters when winter hits because, buying like, Christmas sweaters. we can't wear Christmas sweaters in fuck at act- in actual Christmas mm. in this motherfucking country. Yeah. Fuck so this country's backwards yeah. ways. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Christmas Joker's kind of a pass for me. Mm. Plus, I mean, if we look at the face, something's off with it. I mean, look at those eyes. It's like they're looking. That's a trend I'm noticing in these pictures, is a lot of the characters are looking in, off in one direction. Mm. So it's going to be interesting to see if that translates over to the actual figures, or if it's just these figures, because, I mean, usually, proto- the, when they show off prototypes, they're just looking straight forward and mm. all of that shit, but, yeah, not sure how to feel. Um, and here is the clay face, which I believe is going to be a deluxe figure. Mm-hmm. Um looking really cool yeah i love actually the clayface episode was the one i watched this morning but um yeah really good clayface nice love clayface um definitely getting this one then here is the girls night out five pack with poison ivy live wire supergirl batgirl and harley quinn I honestly will probably just buy this for Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn. Mm. And then just keep the other figures because why the fuck not? Yeah. Like I lo- I love four out of four out of five of these characters, yeah. so it's a uh so 
three of the five have already been released. I think that, I'm not sure if that, yeah, this is the new Batman Adventures, so that might be a new head sculpt for Harley. I'm not sure if they've just re-released the same Harley with a different paint job or not. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, the Harley we got already was the Batman Animated Series 1. Right. But um, the Poison Ivy and Batgirl we've definitely seen before. I'm not sure mm -hmm. if there's any differences, whether they're going to come with different accessories or or not. I hope they come with at least the same accessories. Yep. Because it's going to be kind. Because of, I'm going to get this set definitely. Mm. Because I don't own any of the figures. But then if they don't come with accessories, I'm going to be pretty let down. Because I'd want to have those accessories that I could get with a single version. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to have to pick the single version up when I can get this set. Right. Even though I fucking hate Livewire. Fuck, I hated Livewire in the original show. But, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. She kind of looks just like a, a friggin... What if Killer Frost was powered by electricity? Yeah. S stupid. Anyway, uh, then we have... Uh, even though these... Uh, you probably separate these for the video. Mm -hmm. um, uh, these are from the new Batman Adventures. Uh, we got Harley Quinn, which I'm trying to see. Mm, I don't look. No, the head uh, looks bigger on that one. Yeah, I don't know if it's just. Mm, I don't know. Maybe that one's just far away, so I don't know. Mm. But um, yeah, we are getting a single Harley Quinn as well as the set. So I don't know what the fucking point is there. Um, I guess the people that don't want to buy the set. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. Then we have, uh, f oh, no, I, I, I won't pick that Harley Quinn up if I'm getting the set. If there's mm -hmm. a marginal difference, maybe, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, if there's a difference between them, I'll probably buy the set and then Harley. But, like, mm. if, if there's no difference, I'll just buy the set. Yeah. Uh, then we have Firefly. Mm -hmm. Definitely going to pick Firefly up. I wouldn't say I'm a big Firefly fan, but I need to support it's an, it's this an one. It's an animated series line. Yep. I guess so. And then we have Anti-Fire Suit Batman. Didn't take us long to get a, a variation of Batman, mm -hmm. which, you know, you can only expect because it's Batman the Animated Series. Yep. They're going to throw Batman in there. Several times. I might get it, actually. It does look pretty rad. Yeah. It kind of look. It kind of looks like... Um, sort of like an animated series version of Dick Grayson as yep. Batman. Yep, I'll pause right. the recording. Okay. Okay, there we go. We're back. Okay, we're back. Or were we even here to begin with? Or did we, did we even leave? leave to begin with? That's a, that's a real that's a real question. Let it's, us know down in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> down there. Yep. They can't see you do, do that, okay? God damn it. That is true. I love being on audio because I can just do any dumb shit I want and they, 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 they can't fucking see me. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so yeah. Anti, anti fire suit Batman. Yes. Yes. Good stuff. Definitely. I'm gonna just call it Mr. Freeze Batman because. Moving on. Mm. Moving on to Harvey Bullock. Boom. I'm probably not gonna get Harvey, in all honesty. But he looks awesome. Nah. Again, cool coat. civilian figures. Plus, I don't like the character that much <laughs> until Gotham. Anyway, I yeah. like I like him in Gotham, but no, mm. probably not gonna get Mr. Bullock there. Uh, then we have Talia Al Ghul, which uh, I might get her. Mm. I haven't seen the episode with her in it, but yeah, she looks kind of like a brunette Black Widow with a purple suit. Yeah, she does. Yeah, okay. I always think. When Talia wears a jumpsuit, it looks like Black Widow, so... Fair enough. Okay. Now we have the Tales of the Dark Knight set, which is in the new Batman Adventures. I might get this? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Is it because massive-ass Batman? Yeah. So we've got Batman, Carrie Kelly Robin, and the Mutant Leader, obviously inspired by Dark Knight Returns. Mm-hmm. I might get it. I don't know yet. It's going to depend on how much it is. Whether that Robin's going to have full articulation. Cause, yeah. And Mutant Leader as well. It's going to depend on the articulation because action figure. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, moving on. 
We have the Ventriloquist and Scarface. Yeah. From Batman the Animated Series. Um, I'm definitely getting this. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't. I. I mean, the characters are cool, but the figures are awesome as well. So. Right. Yeah. And then one I'm definitely going to pick up is the new Batman Adventures Joker. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because. Even though the design in the face, I don't really particularly like it. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, the suit is cool. So, yeah. yeah, definite getting for me. And that's the animated series done. So, yeah. Now, moving on to the Darwin Cook designer series. I believe this is series two. Yep. Uh, here we have Catwoman, Jon Stewart, The Flash, and Wonder Woman makeup this wave uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Darwin Cook's art style mm -hmm. um, I know I'm going to be getting at some point going back and getting the new Frontier figures but yep. uh, I don't know um, yeah I just don't dig the art style what about what about you I'm, I might I might get them if like I see them and I I want to get a figure and there's pretty much nothing else I might get them yeah so it looks like I mean they don't look too bad mm hmm it's just, you know, it, the art style doesn't do anything for me. Mm. Uh, the Catwoman, you know, it just looks like any other Catwoman figure. Yep. There's not a whole lot you can do. Really, the only differences in Catwoman figures is how they do the goggles and what I wanna the see, various levels of how the What I want to see is a, is a goddamn mother friggin' Earth 2 Catwoman. Yes. That shit would be cool, and I would buy it straight up because yep. I love that costume. And here we have John Stewart, yeah, typical. Yeah. Uh, then we have the Flash. He looks kind of eh. Yeah, and Wonder Woman. Mm. Mm. What I don't like is the articulation is looking very basic, and when you look at them, they're all spread out. Yeah, they've all got the same stance, and there's just gonna be. The posing is going to be awful for those figures, so mm. I just don't think Darwin Cook probably deserved. He didn't really deserve his own line. I think there's a lot more art styles he could have used mm. uh, from different artists, and his isn't the most interesting. It's kind of retroish look. But anyway, uh, moving on to the Dawn of Justice figures. Oh yeah. Uh, we have Armored Batman, Lex Luthor. Superman and Wonder Woman. Oh yeah. Uh, so this is, uh, I think, being heralded as like the massive reveal of all reveals mm -hmm. from Toy Fair, at least DC collectibles anyway. Um, because uh, you know they're doing movie figures now. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah. So that's gonna be sweet. Yep. Uh, so Armored Batman. I'm kind of glad that these have popped up before I bought the Mattel ones. Yep. Because Mattel... Yeah, not the best. They're not the best. No. no. Uh, the Armored Batman looks good, but then again, it's, you know... There's not a lot you can fuck up with Armored Batman. Mm -hmm. um, the regular Batman, the Superman and Wonder Woman, look like shit. Mm -hmm. the, I mean, yeah. They're just... Yeah. yeah. But, um... Yeah, this armored Batman. I would have preferred a just normal Batman. Yep. Maybe they're saving him for future release, or I don't know what their motive is. But yeah, I just would have preferred a regular Batman. I'm still gonna get this armored Batman. Yep. But yeah, would have preferred a regular Batman. Would you? Would you agree with that? Yeah, I would yeah. agree with that. I'm still gonna pick this up, obviously. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, then we have Lex Luthor. Oh, hold on. I uh, hope that hair's removable. Hold on, uh, actually, I did, uh, if I just open up the document, um, where is it, where is it, there we go, uh, okay, so, this Batman is slated for release in September, mm -hmm. uh, he is going to be 50 bucks, yep, he will include hands, a grapple gun, a grenade launcher, and a display stand. Nice. Oh, stands. Uh, so yeah, the Lex Luthor will uh, be released in November this year. 
$45. He'll come with a case of kryptonite, hands, and a bald head. Nice. Okay, So, good. I guess that confirms he's going to be bald in the movie? I think a Lego set confirmed he was going to be bald in the oh, movie. Oh, okay. Because, Didn't like, the picture come out? I don't like, know. Before even the trailers were debuting of him bald, I, I'm I, pretty I, sure. I don't know, either way. But, yeah. Um, I don't like the outfit. No. I've got him in. The outfit's not that great. Plus the joints they're using... I mean, I like the joints. Like they're not—they're not really standard DC collectibles no, they joints look, at all. But they look like third-party joints, mm. like SH Figure Arts would use. The problem is, Figure Arts like they are designed around articulation, mm-hmm. and to have all these points, I can guarantee fucking T, these will not have that posability mm-hmm. at all. So, yeah. Uh, and here's the worst case of it, I think, is the Superman. He doesn't look like a DC collectible figure. Not really, no. He looks very disjointed. He does look like a third party thing, and the third party ones only get away with it because of the posability they bring in. I don't think the Superman is going to have any level of posability. I I think it, the figure the figure itself still looks pretty damn cool. Yeah, but he's not going to have anywhere near. No, I don't. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna have figure like arts. a figure arts fucking, uh, yeah. you know, posability or whatever. But yeah, but uh, he's coming alongside Batman uh, in September again. Forty five dollars. He'll have a head with the heat vision, red eyes, mm-hmm. and a few hands. Nice. It's weird that uh, Batman's getting a display stand and no one else is. Hmm. I mean, I don't know if they just left it off there or if it's a mistake that um, they put in that Batman's coming with one. I don't know. Yep. Uh, and the, and the wrists look really kind of iffy, crappy yeah. as well. Like, yeah. But I'm still gonna get it. And then we have the Wonder Woman. It looks damn cool. Yeah. This this shit this shit's probably just gonna be my first stop when yeah. buying these figures. Uh, so Wonder Woman is coming out in November. Mm-hmm. Uh, she'll come with a sword, shield, a golden lariat, and hands. Presumably to hold the sword and shield, obviously. Yeah, pr- more than likely, because she's got fists in this picture. Yep. But, uh, yeah, even though I don't think it looks exactly like Gal Gadot, the, it's, the still resembl- better, the it's still a better likeness there. than Mattel. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely, this wave is a pickup for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, moving on to DC icons. All right, we'll talk about the accessory packs. Okay, so we have accessory pack one, which uh, in store September twenty sixteen. Yeah. Uh, the price is going to be twenty eight. This is in American, so that's like probably going to be like forty bucks or something here. Uh, so it's coming with uh, the minifigure chip, uh, two nice. batarangs, which are sculpted very differently, uh, two joker fish, which appear to be the same, uh, four trick arrows, uh, which one's got like a little bomb, you got the anal bead, <laughs> one there, okay. and, like a more circular headed arrow, and then the more pointed one. Yep. Uh, then you have the bat zipline gun, which will come with a string and suction cups. Nice. It's it's uh interesting that they say suction cups. So are we gonna get different ones or what? Because what? It says suction cups. Yeah, one for each side. Oh okay. You dick. Shut up. Uh anyway, so that's gonna obviously be able to support a figure if. Most likely, yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, we'll see to what effectiveness. Uh, then we have a Green Lantern Construct Blast, which I guess is this thing here, mm-hmm. and then the shield is attachable, Yep. but I presume you can use that just by itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we have Jay Garrick's helmet in a trophy case. Which is rad as brick. I wonder if that's going to be removable. I don't and know. I presume they're just going to be doing little fun things like this. Uh... For those who collected DC Direct back in the day, the um, Super Friends 2-packs came with little models of like the whole of Justice and Legion of mm. Doom and the the Batmobile and all of that. Cool. So, yeah, maybe these things might be 
like that because when we look at the next one it's uh, very similar uh, so you've got the Green Lantern boxing glove so that's that's good there mm -hmm. uh, we have Starro face huggers so I want to know if like because you got this one here which is just flat right, right and then the this star. one which is wrapping around well it's not wrapping around a face here but it obviously has the ability so mm. are these like you just get a flat one and then you get this one or does this one have like a ben bendy wise it says star can... face huggers yeah plural so obviously one's flat and one's bent yeah but i just want to know if they've done this to display it can be like this but also it can wrap around the face Sorrow face huggers, plural, probably. Yeah, one. I know there's, she's, she's I'm just saying person. if they've done this to display the feature, is what I'm saying. Mm hmm. So, yeah. I'm just going, sorrow face huggers, okay, one's gonna be bent, one's gonna be flat. Yeah. Uh, so, we have a Harley Quinn baseball bat. Mm hmm. Which is good. We don't really see a baseball bat with Harley. No. We just probably. We're lucky to get a mallet and that's it. Um, then we have a pie bomb. Nice. Which is good. Um, and I don't know if these are any specific designs. I think they're uh, just, like, there for the hell of it. So, yeah. We then have the Flash Running Hands. Which is rad. Yep, which is just basically the same hands we've seen. Although the, the, the way it joins looks different there. Mm. Uh, and then it's got the weird whoosh effects... Uh, on the bottom there. You don't need to describe them, man. We're, they're, they're giving me pictures up on the screen. Uh, I know, but still. Uh, then we have the helmet of Naboo. Yeah. With uh, the Justice League trophy case. Looks pretty which cool. Is good. Uh, and then we have a Batmite. Yay! So, yay. I That's fucking, the real I fucking shit. hate Batmite. Don't care. It's the <laughs> I'm real just shit. saying. Uh, yeah. And then here we have Batgirl. Which uh, I believe is a deluxe. If we go to the next picture, mm -hmm. come on. If it will actually, no, fuck. Oh shit, no, you're not Batgirl. Okay, so uh, yep, yeah. uh, Batgirl from Batgirl of Burnside. She is a deluxe. Mm -hmm. Looks like she's 23 in the wave. Yep. Can't remember what we're currently up to, but yeah, uh, November 2016. 60 bucks is a little steep. I mean, she does come with a fucking motorcycle. True, but, um... Hmm. I don't know. I, feel, I think 60 bucks Australian mm -hmm. would have been decent, but keeping in mind, this is... Yeah, I know, it's know, US dollars. US, like... so it's going to be like 80, maybe, here. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Um, Just really depends on Plus the fact when you look... That bloody, um... Thrasher suit Batman. Mm -hmm. It's like sixty nine, mm -hmm. and I think maybe that had a little more going on than here. But uh, yeah, she's gonna come with a motorcycle, interchangeable hands, a grapple gun, an interchangeable head, which looks cool. I guess that's for riding the motorcycle because her hair's back. Mm -hmm. uh, an interchangeable cape, which looks longer, and, and uh, also pointed. maybe black. Uh, I think this is from the back. All oh, right. Okay. So yeah. Got it. So, yeah, um, I wonder what this is. Meh. Because it doesn't list Probably anything. a phone. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, definitely going to get this. Yeah. I was never a fan of icons until I saw... Ah, it might be a, something that fits in here. Mmm. But, uh, yeah, I was never a fan of icons until you pointed them out to me, that they were in the store. Yep. So I had to go in and, and get them. So, yeah. Um, I'd, I also wonder if this motorcycle is going to be removable from this thing, mm -hmm. uh, or if this thing's even going to be included. I feel like that's going to be like the, the motorcycle's going to have some real heft to it, so yeah. that's probably the reason behind the massive price tag. Yeah, probably. Uh, or, it's, or it's probably just going to go down the Batmobile route and it's just going to be hollow plastic. I hope not. Um, which I don't mind. I, I see the, um,. I see the effect is effectiveness of using hollow plastic, just as long as you can play around with it and it won't break. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. Uh, then here we have Cyborg, who I believe is also a deluxe. Yep. Yeah. 
Uh, he's from the Forever Evil storyline, which we've already got the Lex and Black Adam from. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if there's one coming out in the future, but he's set for release in September 2016 at $45. Mm-hmm. Uh, his accessories, and I'm not, I'm not sure if this should be a a deluxe set, to be honest. Uh, he comes with interchangeable hands, an interchangeable right arm, an interchangeable left arm cannon. Uh, two of them, actually. Two interchangeable left arm cannons, which are these things. Yep. Um, and a generator with cables. Uh, so I guess this here is the reason they've decided to make it a deluxe. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's a good enough reason. I think probably you could have left that out. I don't know if anyone's actually going to be displaying him with this. I mean, I haven't read the storyline, so I don't know if it's like a massive integral part of it, but mm-hmm. I feel you could have just put these in, the arms and hands, <coughs> and you would have been fine. Either way, he's a deluxe figure, and yeah. Yeah, I just feel you could have probably left that out. At least yep. 45, probably rounding out to about 50, maybe 60 bucks here, I don't know. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to get Cyborg. Yeah. Um... But yeah, then we have Dark Side and Grail. Uh, it's a deluxe two pack, slated at a hundred dollars, which I think is fair because yep. this is a twelve inch figure and you're getting a regular six inch figure. I guess I don't know how tall Grail is. Not familiar with the character, but that's this is coming out in October. Mm-hmm. And that's another thing is they're doing a lot of deluxes in this series. Yeah, which I think they can just. Just chill down a bit. No. You know? No. Jesus Christ. But, uh, anyway. Fuck is, uh, what, so what the fuck is chilling? You got interchangeable hands for both of them. Mm-hmm. You got an axe, which I presume is for Dark Side. Yep. Not familiar with him using an axe, but okay. And a cloak, which I presume is for Grail. I guess the axe and, ca- and cloak are for Grail, so. Mm hmm. Well, um. Although, interesting. I can't see. Uh, unless. Darkseid has finger articulation. I don't mm. see anything that would hold the axe. Mm. Because they've both got closed fists. Although this axe does look... When you look at it, it does look like it would be more for Darkseid. Well, they, these pictures aren't to scale, so... Yeah, but when you look, this cloak... Yeah. It's more in size relation to her and the hands. And then when you look at the axe, I presume that would be... Maybe she's using a giant oversized axe. Maybe. You never know. Maybe, we'll see. maybe you need to look Although up I do, and I do out. think that uh, it's interesting how they're not giving um, a comic run. Mm-hmm. So, so, um, it, it looks to be New 52 because... Yeah. Yeah, Dark, that's, I think that's pretty much what Darkseid looks like in the New 52. Although I do think they could have gone for a little different design with Darkseid because... We already have a deluxe dark side. I don't think it's this exact design, but it is from the new 52. Mm. So I guess it's changed. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I guess it's changed his look in the comics. So, yeah. Then we have Deathstroke. Um, slated for release in September 2016. That could change, obviously. Uh, $28. Uh, from the Judas contract. Uh, I feel they could have chucked in a little more with him. Yeah, probably. Uh, because you know you think he's a fucking. I, w- I would think they would probably. I would think they would probably put in like a machine gun with him or something. Yeah. But just the fact that he's got. He's got a. Just the fact that he's got a sword, a couple of interchangeable hands, a staff, and a pistol. It's just kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like. Not really what I would expect from a Deathstroke yeah. figure. Like, this sword, I don't think anyone would display him with that. Mm. I just don't think it's a sword that he'd use. He probably uses it in the storyline. Maybe, yeah. What um, do you mean, maybe? It's a Judas Contract Deathstroke. Yeah, so oh, no, what I meant was, does he get this sword from someone else, is what I'm saying. Right. In the storyline. Anyone who knows of the storylines, let us know. Well, maybe you but could yeah. read comics and find out yourself. <laughs> Shut up, cunt. But yeah, power stuff. I probably am with... I don't know. That's the thing mm. about these. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yep. I just don't know how I'm going to display them until I get them in hand and... Yeah. Uh, 
So, yeah, the Deathstroke is a definite get Yeah. for me. Uh, then we have Swamp Thing mm -hmm. from Dark Genesis in stores September 2016. Uh, $28. He'll come with interchangeable hands and an on man. Nice. I don't know if I'll get it. I think... I'm, I'm used to Swamp Thing being m massive. Yeah. And the, uh, he, he six just kind of looks... So he's going to be like 25 cent. So, uh, yeah. The, he's going to be a little bit taller, but... Yeah. Not it, by it's, too it's, much. It's, it's just that I... Again, I'm used to seeing Swamp Thing being huge and yeah. massive and hugely buff. And this is yeah. kind of... I, I mean, don't, is I, it in keeping with the design? It's like, I don't... I don't, I don't read read much Swamp Thing. I don't read Swamp Thing full stop. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not so a fan like, of the character. So like, I'm I'm sure he's a good character and all, but like, yeah, it's just yeah, he's not huge. I just don't have it's a. Kind of blur to me. I feel I mean it's weird to me. So I guess if I don't know, is this Dark Genesis? Yeah, so this is it. No, he doesn't. He he does The figure doesn't look that big. No, he doesn't. But Dark mm. Genesis. Yeah. There. Either mm. way. Meh. Yeah. Not really gonna pick up Swamp yeah, Thing. Yeah, no, I'm not either. Here we have Wonder Woman. Oh, fuck. This is from, one I'm definitely getting. From the Amazo virus. September 2016. $28. This is actually a pretty recent storyline, as I understand it. Okay. Cool. So. Uh, so she's gonna come with interchangeable hands, a sword, a shield, the loose lasso, and a clippable lasso, which is something that a lot of people have been wanting in a Wonder Woman figure. Mm -hmm. Mattel would always glue the lasso, and DC Collectibles do that as well. I can't yeah. remember an action figure actually having both options for you. Yeah. But the problem is she comes with a sword and shield, so you're not not going to want to use those. Yeah. Um, so this lasso I'll probably give to another Wonder Woman, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's the good thing about the accessories that these things bring, is you could always just... You can always give them to another figure. Yeah, give them to another figure that maybe should have come with one. I I hope that the shield can attach to the back. Yeah. That would be a cool thing, and I'd probably have her displayed like she, that. Well, if you look, she the has the straps there. Yeah, she does have the straps so maybe on her shoulder, so It's also going to depend on how they'll... Utilize the shield. I don't yeah. own a DC collectible figure that has a shield. Mm -hmm. I'm not even sure if there is one. I'm sure there's an old Wonder Woman maybe that's come with a shield. Yep. Um. So yeah. Uh. This shield. Uh. It, is it going to be like a, a clip or is it going to like? I don't know. Yeah. We, we, we shall see. But hundred percent, this is what I'm getting. Yeah. Oh, for sure. This is this is probably this will probably be the be the first figure I will pick up from this entire. Thing, mm, yeah. My, because, I mean, my yeah. my thing about icons is they're too busy focused on. Okay, we'll grab this from this, and you know all of that. But will we get any other figures from that run? I mean, right now we have three from Forever Evil, mm -hmm. so maybe. Yeah. But then again, they are focused on. Okay, so just grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, and. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, it, are we gonna get? Some consistencies there, or mm -hmm. you know, it's not like oh, posing this next to this figure just doesn't look right. I mean, yeah, could do it. All my icons are gonna go on one shelf, regardless of storyline and yep. all of that shit. So, yeah, uh, definitely one I'm gonna be picking up. And that's it for icons. That actually upsets me reaching the end of the icons, yeah, but actually, uh, okay, so hold on, I just need to see the numbers here. Okay, so that's 23, that's 20, 22, 21, 18, and 19. So, is that all of them? Probably. Oh, well. Yeah, okay. So that's all the ones there. Uh, now we move on to the Greg Capullo. I believe this is Series 4. I don't know if they're actually calling it. Series 4 or whatever, but it is the 4 series of Greg Capullo figures. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, uh, going a little bit beyond Batman characters. Whoa, so, really? Yeah. 
Holy shit. <laughs> there are other characters besides Batman? I, no, I wasn't aware Greg Capullo drew for other things. I was just aware he did. I don't... I, I guess... Did. I'm, I'm pretty sure he does. Although I guess they're part of the Batman storyline. Yeah. So probably. maybe. Um, I don't know if there's a Robin in the storyline, but I fucking want one. <laughs> I need a Robin. Okay. And I need fucking a Joker. I need the Joker. Boy, chill your face. In the black suit with the shaved head. Yep. Not shaved head, but you know what I mean. Uh, the so hipster yeah. cut. Yeah, the hipster cut. So we have Aquaman, Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, Jim Gordon as Batman, and Superman. Alright, mm. so this Aquaman here. Uh, he looks like he's coming with his trident. Uh, he doesn't look... Oh, that's a bummer. What? He doesn't look like, from this picture, he has wrist articulation. No, it doesn't look and like And that's it. a bit of a bummer, especially when he's got this trident here. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's going to have forearm swivels or what. But, uh, yeah, the articulation and overall design does look like Greg Capullo. Mm-hmm. Looks in keeping with what we've seen before. Uh, I'm definitely going to get this. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, what about you? Maybe not. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks cool, but again, probably not. Yeah. I'm not, like, hugely into collecting figures like you are. I just mostly collect the figures that I would... True that. Or the characters that I like. Or yeah. If I see a figure that's really awesome looking, I will get that one. So. Yeah. All right. Here we have Hal Jordan. Mm-hmm. I am definitely getting this. Oh, yeah. Massive Hal Jordan fan. Uh, and he's so shiny. Yeah, so shiny, unlike the fucking DC Icons version. Mm. Um, that one's still shiny. I guess they just... Uh, it's not super shiny. It's not but it's shiny. shiny. It's more glittery than shiny. Shut up. It's cool. But uh, I don't know if they did that to avoid looking like this and looking like the uh, regular one. Mm -hmm. They left that one as not looking metallic. but Yeah, and this one definitely is a different colour as well. Oh, yeah. Different shade of green. So that's good. Do you, uh, you reckon you'll pick this one up? I don't know, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now we have Jim Gordon as Batman, which is a two-pack. Oh, yeah, I might get this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we've got the big robot... Batman thing. Mm -hmm. I believe in the comics this thing opens up. Yep. This from the chest? I don't know. I haven't the chest or the read head. much or seen much. I've seen pictures. I know that. And it's... If they utilize the feature of it opening up, are we going to get a Jim Gordon inside? Or mm. what's going to happen here? That is definitely a question. And if it's just the helmet that opens up, I hope they utilize it better than the Thrasher suit Batman. Because mm. the only thing that keeps that helmet on is pressure, but even then, the more you uh, on and off you take it, I mean, just look at mine, it falls off at the slightest nudge. Yeah. And it's really just frustrating. Uh, it's also going to be interesting seeing the articulation with these massive rockets yep. on the side. But uh, yeah, it looks to be a really good figure. Yeah. And the, the Jim Gordon here also looks really cool, this it looks, outfit. It looks kind of like animated, not. Like animated Batman the animated series ish, but mm. it looks very uh, sort of like it's from an animated show. Yeah, true. Yeah, well, which I love. So I'm, pro I'm probably gonna get this. Yeah. Because and then read uh, the part of the comics where Jim is Batman. So. Yeah. Because right. apparently that's really interesting. Yeah, I mean so. I don't understand anything behind the storyline and why he's Batman, but mm -hmm. you know um, I might give it a read. I don't know. We shall see. And then here's the Superman. It looks uh, pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, uh, next to the Aquaman is probably the least interesting in the way, but that I'm still going... going ugh, excuse still me. Still gaying. 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 Gaying? Gaying. Shit. Anyway, I'm still going to get him. Because mm -hmm. uh, I kind of want to get the whole Greg Capullo wave, yep. even the Catwoman, which I think is a pretty crappy figure. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, anyway, definitely going to pick this Superman up. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, love me some Greg Capullo wave sh designer series shit. Yeah. Uh, okay, so moving on to the Man of Steel, uh, which is interesting that they're going back and... Uh, doing some from the old movies. 
Hopefully we can get some from like the Michael Keaton move Batman movies and Or the uh friggin' Richard Donner Superman movies. Yeah, true. I mean I don't think I'd ever get figures from them. I I would get them because I love those movies yeah. aside from four. Yeah. And kind of three. Three yeah. is just but, um, the yeah, best. if they were to go back and make, like, you know, even if they were to make ones from Batman and Robin, mm-hmm. I'd get them. Yeah. And even Batman Forever and, you know, the Nolan trilogy, mm-hmm. I'd get those. Because I'd actually like to. Because Mattel just fucked over I... the DC. I oh, don't know, what was it? Movie Masters. Mm. They fucked them up. I would love to see, like, uh, Richard Donner, Superman, and Zod. Mm hmm. That would be some real shit yeah. to get, because Christopher Reeve... Oh, nuclear man. <sighs> okay, no, 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 Well, it looks like, okay, so it looks like there's no Superman in this, and I guess that's because they've done the Dawn of Justice one, and the styles are so similar. Yep. So I guess if they were to go back and do, like, the Michael Keaton Batman, which one would they do? I don't know. Because the suits are different. The suits are super different. But they're also very similar. Yeah. I'd say Batman Returns is mm-hmm. the better suit. Yeah. So, yeah, probably that one. Mm. But then again, I think you could pack in more accessories with a... Probably, yeah. A Batman one. Anyway. Uh, so, here we have, in the Man of Steel line, we have Feora, General Zod, and jor I'm super happy um, getting these. Yeah, okay, so the Feora, these are coming out this year, interestingly enough, and I say that because we'll see later. Uh, so yeah, Feora is coming out in September, they're all coming out in September this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're all $45. She's going to come with a masked head, hands, and a knife. It's going to be cool to see if the cape is removable. I don't think it will did be. Did she remove her cape? I know Zod did, but... Mm. I, I don't think she did. Anyway. Um, I might get it. I don't know yet. I didn't really think she was an interesting character in the movie. Mm. But whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'll probably do it. Maybe. That's the thing with DC collectibles. Even though you get what you pay for, sometimes you might... A figure that you might have gotten if it was cheaper, you have to kind of say... Yeah. Should I? Because, um, I mean, yeah, it'd be good to get it and put it put her next to Zod. Mm. But at the same time, at the cost of however much. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, moving on to General Zod. And this one brings a lot to the table as well. Uh, he comes with an angry head... A head with the laser eyes, the masked head, and some hands. Which sounds awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, so maybe if Feora came with a little bit like that, you know. Mm-hmm. Especially if she had, like, a head with some expression. I don't know. Mm. Uh, but she comes with a knife, so that's all good. Uh, well, she was pretty the, She was pretty straight-faced throughout the yeah, whole movie. Yeah, true so. that, true. Um, did she use Heat Vision at all? No, I don't think no, so. Okay. Uh, looks like the capes are... Uh, are um, a ma- material like cloth or fabric or something like that. Yeah. So I wonder if they're going to have like a bendy wire in them. Because if it you looks look at like this cape, it, yeah. yeah, so that's going to be interesting. Mm. And uh, also to see if the cape's removable. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to think if, if I would have preferred Zod without the armor. Because we've I seen feeling... so many. Yeah. Of these Zods, like every figure of Zod comes with the armor, and I think the only ones that didn't was a Mattel one. But even then, they released an armored Zod as well. Yeah. So I I don't know if they would pull the trigger on it. I have a feeling they'll go back and do it at some point. Maybe. But then again, I did like his armor, so mm. yeah. Although it's going to probably be a bit restrictive I don't know we'll, we'll see even then you might out. you might be able to just do a head swap with a superman and then customize something yeah true uh, and then we have jor who comes with a rifle and uh, some hands not gonna lie I don't like the look of this figure mm. the the armor man what's going on it was not this bright in the movie was it uh, 
Maybe. I haven't watched the movie in, like... Yeah, but... Uh, a month or two, but, like... Hmm. I don't... Um, I don't think it was... I don't think it was this, this bright. This bright. It looks like he's wearing bone armor. I think... I think dude. in the <laughs> it movie like the it was... color of bone. Yeah. I think in the movie it was just kind of muted, but not this brightly. No, colored. no. Yeah. Uh, they better fix that up. But even then I wouldn't buy it. Because, I mean... Even though jor was one of, if not my favourite part of the movie... Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I can't justify spending... I've, I've always wanted a Russell Crowe figure. Yeah. <laughs> South Park Russell Crowe, maybe. Can we just substitute the jor figure for a South Park Russell Crowe? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I They've th- done I Looney think... Tune figures before. They can get the rights to I, South Park. I, I think they could probably make a deal or something, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I just don't think I'll pull the guy. Especially if I'm not getting Feora. Mm-hmm. I, I will not pull the trigger on jor here. I almost bought a, the Play Arts Kai Feora up mm-hmm. in... Yeah, Melbourne. No. Oh no! I, like I, I was going to buy it because like, yeah, play out Kai. Especially that I couldn't even pull the trigger on that. Mm. Like I, I, like even if like they came out with, I don't know. I didn't care because there were like two play out Kai there. They mm-hmm. were like, they had the Mass Effect three Ashley Williams one, mm-hmm. and Feora, and I was like, I want to get one of these, but I didn't end up getting either of them. Yeah, because. Spending more money on different figures, so yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. So uh, yeah. The definite I'm getting out of these three is General Zod. Oh yeah. Maybe Feora, but definitely not jor mm. What about you? Are you gonna get? I'll probably get all three at some point. All right. Like jor like not the biggest priority. Yeah. All right, shaking it up a little bit here. <laughs> Whoa. We're moving on to the one Marvel figure, and that is Deadpool. Oh, okay. Uh, I believe this is coming out in a, um, actually, hold on. See, now, this is the fucking thing. Mm. I'm not exactly sure Yeah. if this is six inches or not. Right. Because, like, when I saw it, I assumed it was six inches, but then I saw this hand here, mm. and this hand is used in the three and three quarter inch Marvel Universe. Right. But Hasbro have renamed Marvel Legends. They've renamed it oh Marvel Universe. They've renamed it Marvel Legends. Right. So assuming this is uh this actually does look like the Bucky Cat mold. Right. So let's just assume it's six inches, if not you know I think actually I might have read that it was six inches. Right. But I don't know. Um yeah, it looks pretty standard Deadpool. These are new... Actually, no, yeah, I think they might. Because I know in the article it said that it's got new gauntlets. I'm not sure if that means also the hands are new. But mm-hmm. also new boots. So that's cool. Hang on, go it, up. It looks like it's... The, the shoulders and arms don't look very much... They're very Bucky Cap-ish. Mm. Like, it, it does look... A or it bit... might be the old... Deadpool figure. It that, looks very done. like the muscles on the on the costume look very ripply. Mm. So like, uh, I I don't think it might be the Bucky Cat mold, Maybe. but at the same time, it's probably not because of the whole ripply mm. thing that yeah. I don't think the Bucky Cat mold has. And then you got all this cool detail. I might pick it up, especially if it comes with a bath piece, and I'll definitely have to pick. It I'll up. just probably get it because it's a Deadpool figure, and yeah. I don't have one yet. So. Um, I mean. It still won't beat the Toy Biz Deadpool. No. The Toy Biz Deadpool is the best Deadpool to get, especially because it comes with so much. Mm-hmm. But uh, finding him, I think in l- even loose, you can be looking up to around $60 yep. on eBay, and even more when it's in packaging, which would be ideal for me. But um, yeah, it looks like they're towing the line between the movie design with these yeah. boots and comic design, which I would have just preferred they made a new mold for movie Deadpool. Because they do the same treatment for the MCU, and it's obvious that they're only doing it because maybe Disney have said, don't make Fox yeah. figures. It's why we didn't get a figure line for Days of Future Past. Or Fantastic the most, the most we get... Well, no, that's just no one got Fantastic Four. Um, that's uh, um, the only thing we got for Days of Future Past was um, like a wave of comic 
X-Men and it's probably one of the worst waves of Marvel Legends. Mm-hmm. The builder figure was Jubilee, which I don't know why. She's not a big character. Why have her as a builder figure? Mm-hmm. Um, you get a shitty unmasked Wolverine and a really shitty Magneto. It's a crappy wave. Um, so yeah, it's obvious that they're... I mean, we are getting X-Men characters, obviously. Here's a Deadpool. Yeah. But, you know, if Deadpool was an MCU character, I guarantee that Deadpool 1 would have got his own wave, mm. probably. And um, this would have been a movie Deadpool. Yeah. So that's very... Either way, I'm probably getting it. That also means we're not going to get a movie Apocalypse, and that makes me very upset. Mm. So yeah, moving on to the Suicide Squad uh, figures, of which there are only two, which makes me very angry. Um, So here we have... Where is it? God damn it. Come on. There it is. Here we go. Uh, So here we have El Diablo... Mm-hmm. Or, um, as they said in the reveal, just Diablo, so I don't know. I must have renamed the character. People people always say El Diablo, so like, I'm yeah. just saying El Diablo. So I don't give a shit. These legs! They look know. very strange! Yeah, I don't know if those are going to be fixed. I kind of like the baggy jeans thing, but like... Yeah, I don't remember seeing it like this. Interestingly enough, in the reveal, they didn't mention what accessories he's coming with, so maybe it's just this? Mm. This little flame thing and then is this just an accessory or is this like part of the sculpt is this like in his hand permanently yeah what's going on there um but yeah in uh, one thing that i'm kind of annoyed at is these stickers are coming out next year yeah it would have been better to put these out instead of the man of steel figures yeah because you know because suicide squad is more recent yeah so especially by that point what September, the Man of Steel ones are coming out? Yeah. And that's one month after the movie. Yeah. After Suicide Squad. So, yeah, you could have probably swapped those around. I think that's a bit poor. But here we have Harley Quinn. Looking damn pretty cool. Which, uh, one thing that's worrying me is here, Mm -hmm. she doesn't appear to have knee joints. Right. Like, that could obviously be fixed. But, I'm gonna be honest... I won't. I will not get this figure. She doesn't have knee joints. If there's a massive buzzing in the background of this of, of the thing, I'm sorry, guys. That's that's, um, that's we can't do anything about that. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, if she doesn't have knee joints, I'm not picking this figure up. Mm. Cause for a Harley, you're gonna kinda, need to have knee joints. Gonna have to have knee joints. So yeah. I mean, if she but she's even got if, ankle joints. Even if she doesn't have knee joints, I am oh. still probably going to get it anyway. These boots. I mean, obviously they've separated these mm-hmm. s- as to allow for ankle articulation. Yeah. But I don't know. They could have probably sorted that out. Meh. Either way, I'm still I'm st- still gonna get this figure. Well, she doesn't have a jacket just, just either. Hmm. That's a little. I mean, I don't. Did know they if mention what accessories she's coming? Uh, with? yes, they did. Uh, one thing I don't like is they say explosive collar. So does that mean they're not going to have bombs in the back of their neck? That's lame. Yeah. If you're just going explosive collar, I don't know if that's... I don't know why, but... I don't know if that's to, like, get around the PG-13M rating. Yeah. Um... So that, oh, if they had the collars, then that's fine. But if they've got their necks cut open and had them put in there, then that's not good. Mm. Uh, she also comes with a pistol, which is obviously right here. Yep. And um, um, her hammer, which is interesting. Um, Maybe we'll find out if she actually uses the hammer in the movie. Which is weird that she didn't come with a baseball bat. Yeah. I would have preferred the baseball bat. Because mm. we see her... Uh, I don't think we've actually ever seen her use her mallet, hammer, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So, Yeah. I don't know. And then maybe we might get a jacket. I yeah. Don't know. I honestly would have preferred that. I mean, if I get this figure, if she has knee joints, um, I'll probably just sculpt a jacket. Yep. I don't know if they did it because it would get in the way of this holster, but then again, would we really need a holster? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But yeah, uh, pretty cool figure. I just yeah. would have preferred more. 
I mean, mm. the Dawn of Justice got four figures. Man of, I would have cut the Man of Steel figures out entirely just to get more Suicide Squad members. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I want a Joker. I want all the Jokers. <laughs> all of them in one figure. <laughs> yeah. Just, But more so the purple trench coat one. Yeah. Because that fucking trench coat is beautiful. Okay, again... Oh, I forgot about these. Uh, twisting things up a bit. SH Figure Arts... Have Ooh. added other figures to their resume, I guess. Ooh. With TMNT. Oh, nice. The original. I think though the only thing is in the announcement it just was talking about Don and Leo. Mm. So I guess these two, Mikey and Raph, are getting saved for later. Hmm. Um. Quite possibly. Yeah. So I'm definitely probably going to be picking these up. Oh yeah. Uh, it's gonna depend on the pricing because they are there are those uh, classic collection turtles that Playmates put out. Mm. So and those are really good too. I have the knockoffs, sadly. Which oh god, that pissed me off. That's probably gonna be a rant for another day. Um, mm. So if these go up too much on the secondary market, which figure arts mostly always do, mm -hmm. um, you always have those options as well and. The articulation looks to be... Uh, actually, I think the Play Arts... Not Play Arts. Playmates one. They had finger joints. These ones just appear to have just your standard interchangeable hands. Well, figure, figure Arts don't have finger joints. Though. Yeah, no. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so, like, if you miss out on these figures, no big deal. You can always just get those other ones. But these these faces, though... These are really good. I wonder if they're gonna have they look awesome. I wonder if they're gonna have the same faces, but with their different headbands. I kind of hope so. Yeah, because figure arts are known for their interchangeable factor and you know their their face swapping abilities. And mm. in this case, there'll be different heads, uh, just like the Krillin figure. Yeah. So I wonder if we're gonna see that. Uh, what do you reckon? Do you reckon you'll pick these up? I might if I ever yeah. see them for an affordable price. And yeah. There's nothing else. Plus, the thing with buying. Ninja Turtles is, you know, you you just can't buy one. Yeah. You're gonna need to buy all four, and if these are coming out for like forty five, fifty dollars, I guess that's usually the starting. Fuck up. God damn it. Hopefully, the background noise eliminator on this thing can. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, you got to accommodate for picking up four turtles. Mm. So, yeah. I won't, I won't get all four at the same time. Yeah. Because like, that seems like it would be the a, problem is, a shitload of money. The problem is, I would have to, mm. because the inner shitbag in me. Yep. That's why I'm upset that they appear from the reveal they're not coming out at the same time. Mm. And that's a bummer. Yep. Because, like, that means I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to want to wait for them because I just can't have two fucking turtles on a shelf. And that means that the price but is going to be the price is going to get up. Yeah. Maybe that's why they've done it. They'll know the prices will probably go up. And then, yeah, especially if the prices do go up, that's going to really kill it for me. I'm going to not be able to justify spending. So if each of these go to, like, $200, I yeah. am justifying that. Hmm. And, yeah, so I'll just go with the Playmates one. But, yeah. yeah, I'm definitely picking these up if I can find them for the affordable price. Yeah. Uh, okay, come on. Uh, then we go to just um, some other stuff. Here we have uh, the Blue Lion Superman. Ooh. Once he just... Uh, don't get excited. It's... Yeah. <laughs> it sounds cool, but it's just the new 52 Superman done in this Ooh, nice. white with they've done a batman like this as well so i don't know if we're gonna get the justice league done like this or whether it's just that looks pretty sweet this uh it's signed by jim lee i'd get it but uh yeah i'd i'd, I'd get it i mean it'd be a cool. cool collector piece but at the same time it is a limited edition i'm pretty sure oh. uh so that'd be going up in price so I I'd wouldn't. probably get it mm. if I had money for it and it was affordable yeah but I already have a new 52 Superman and I, I'm not into these stylized looking things mm -hmm. uh, like they did Doctor Who figures in black and white yep. and I just would not get those 
Uh, plus, they were Comic Con exclusives, so yeah. Then he was, shut up. Just keep going and ignore and it. Pro our voices will probably override it or whatever. Well, if you look, that little spike. Nah, it's not making huge ones. Never mind. Anyway, no, move on, damn it! Move on. No, it's more editing for you to do. Motherfucker, move on, <laughs> you piece of shit. I can't. The inner pedantic in me. Don't just care. Can't. Just move on. Anyway. Uh, okay, so here we have Flash and Arrow. That's the wrong way around. But yeah, um, from Season 4, or Green Arrow now, technically. From Season 4. And, and Season 2, Flash. Yeah. Um, this appears to be the same sculpt. Wait, hang on, go down. Uh, the leg joints look a little bit, they're like the, um, what do you call them? What's this bit? Thigh. The thigh the joints, joints seem to be a little bit different, mm. like connecting when connecting to the groin. Maybe. It's a bit. But then again, I can't see them making a new mold. Maybe they yeah. have, but yeah. Uh, it's pro probably the same one. And I'm just this neck. Wishful thinking. I don't know if this piece is going to be removable. Mhm. Mm because when you look at the neck here, it's still the same color. It's as still the same the color. If it was, um. If it was just a regular like figure in a new mold, or accurate, that would be flesh coloured. Yeah. Uh, so what I'm thinking maybe is that this head is removable and you'll have a masked head. And they're just going like a Toy Biz method and this hood piece yeah. will be... Uh, slide on, slide off. Slide on, slide off, yeah. Uh, the likeness to Grant Gustin is there, but it's not spot on. Either way, Grant I think they do. I, I, I think they do. Their attempt to do a realistic paint tone never turns out too well. Mm. I, I think that's you know, their yeah. likenesses. Uh, the arrow figures are on and off. This yeah. I don't think is the best likeness to Stephen Amell. No, yeah. but uh, I do like the costume. And even even if it's not the best likeness, you could probably just like do a head swap with the uh, original release. So. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I presume this hood will just be like all the others and it'll be really soft, rubbery yep. for no fucking reason because it's not like you can slide it back. Mm. Uh, but yeah, loving this look. Yeah, man. So uh, definitely picking this up. Hope that bow, it looks to be the same bow. Mm. Yeah. Uh, hope it doesn't break super easy. Anyway, uh, then we have a Wonder Woman free pack, I think. Yeah, this is the last one. Wonder Woman free pack. These are all repaints as far as I'm aware. Mm -hmm. The New 52 regular and first appearance Wonder Woman. Yep. I know these two are definite repaints. And oh, yeah. I think this this one does look like an older mold. So, mm. yeah, these are all repaints, so it's an easy pass for me. I might, I might pick them up just for the hell of it. Yeah, but then, like, you know, there are better... New 52. Just for the hell of it! Wonder Woman's out God there. God damn it! Uh, I just want to fill a whole shelf with Wonder Woman. That would be amazing. Okay. So that brings a close to the figures. And we're, uh, we're nearly an hour and 20 minutes into this. Alrighty. Uh... <sighs> I think we can skip out on everything else we had planned and, like, I do that could, next week. I think we could talk about Daughter of Justice oh, trailer. Yeah. But I haven't seen it yet. We watched it. Did we? Yes. Oh, yeah, we did. That's right. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I've just... I forgot. Yeah, uh... This should have been the only trailer. Just super quick, though. Yeah. Yeah. It was... Definitely. Like, it, it, it did a better job of getting me excited for the movie than, like, the Doomsday trailer did. <laughs> yeah. Or even the first one. Or even the first one, yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to go easy on this movie. Right now, the trailer did not save it mm -hmm. for me. My uh, thoughts on the movie still stand mm -hmm. from what I've seen. But at the same time, this one focused a little more on Batman. Yeah. Which I thought was a good move. Because, you know... From all the trailers, everyone's just like, oh, why is this even a movie? Superman could easily kick Batman's ass. And then, 
Yeah. You get this. And we just haven't seen much of the Batman going on in the trailers. Yeah. Um, so, I'm glad that they did that. It was nice to see a little Alfred as well. Yes, Alfred. Now, I'm confused. Is he in the Batwing? Or is he piloting it from the Batcave? I don't know. He's probably... Uh, Batcave. Because I was thinking he's in it. Because at one point, you like see him going and like you see stuff going behind him. It might just be a screen, but it doesn't look like it. Meh, I don't know. But uh, I hope he's in there. I don't know. I kind of want him to be inside. That'd be kind of cool, but I don't know how that would actually work. But either way, yeah, looks pretty cool. Yes, um, Batman kicking the fucking shit out of people. Hmm. <sighs> they got wrecked. I lo- I'm, I'm kind of inter- interested, like in the fact that he throws them as if he's got super strength, and it's like Jesus Christ. Yeah. Chill, bro. Yes. Chill. Oh my god. Was- and then the best fucking part. Is he's like, I'm getting slow in my old age. And I'm like, that? That's fucking slow? It's like... Uh, it, it, it was really comic booky, y And yes. I loved that. Yes. It was, some people have made it uh, akin to the Arkham games. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I definitely see that. Yeah. And that's good. Because we'll even like, know... Uh, um, I really hope this movie goes down the direction of being more comic booky than yeah. like... A mm. gritty reboot live action movie. Like I hope, I hope it keeps the tone that it's been uh, that they've been showing so far, but doesn't go too far. Yeah. Dark. I ho- um, I really hope it's like more I guess of a comic. Kind of like the Daredevil movie. Yeah. That even though that was pretty dark and grim, it it still it felt a very, little bit comic booky. Yeah, it was to be still honest. very yeah. comic. Yeah. I guess that's the problem with it as well. Is yeah. Daredevil shouldn't be comic booky. I just hope. I just hope that Dawn of Justice is... A- Tune in for next week. We'll probably be looking at Deadpool. Uh, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Up, update, uh, updating. Go me. Uploading videos is going to get sketchy now that we're editing. We're not sure when they'll go up. Yep. It's just a matter of Consider- when. Considering, like, I, I'm, I'll i be editing my own stuff. Yeah. I'll be editing stuff for this channel. Yeah. And, yeah, that's going to be a, a bit... Be a bit a lot on my plate, and that on top of everything else I'm doing, mm. like outside of YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a bit erratic. But yeah, through that. So yeah, guys, uh, tune in. Yeah, next week. Uh, I guess we'll be just we'll do a like spoiler-free five-minute review of Deadpool. Yep. Uh, and then probably we'll be a lo- bit longer than five minutes maybe. because five ten minutes. When, when you, when you I don't know when us. we're limited by spoiler free. Yeah, we could probably talk less. Uh, but yeah, and then we'll do like the next podcast. We'll be looking at uh, what was this episode four? Yep. Yeah. Uh, so episode five is going to be Deadpool mm-hmm. and whatever news comes out then. Yeah. If there's any. Um, I guess the only thing I can say is I think Doctor Who Season 10 starts filming in May. Mm-hmm. So, yay. Nice. So they get, like, nearly a whole year of filming. Woo. And and Season 10 is going to be back to the 13-episode format. Woo! So, thank God. One extra episode. <laughs> they should have bumped it up. <laughs> make, them a, make them an hour long. Yeah, I think I think we're I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. We're, we're done. I just done. wanted to recap everything we needed to talk about yeah. in the news because yeah, yes. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Tune into solo channels and this Ooh, channel. Stuff. And tune into my solo channel where nothing's going on. Tune into my solo channel where stuff is. And kind then when of, something kind of goes going on, on but then, then, like not also at the same time not going on. And then on my channel when something goes on, I film videos and upload them all at the same time weeks later. It's always that, the way. That's literally your schedule. It is. It is. Yes, and guys. It's, it's even. It's even funnier because you're obsessed with schedules. So I am, isn't it? <laughs> it's the ironic thing. I'm good with schedules unless it comes to my own channel. You're, you're good with schedules, but you're shit at schedules. I'm good, but I'm shit. But anyway, I'm we're, we're gonna organized. we're gonna get out of your head now. Okay, guys. Thank you all for listening. Shut and, up! Oh my god, it's so shitty. Anyway, bye-bye. What even causes it? I don't know. Wind, I guess. But anyway, bye-bye. Bye.